Introduction Ankita, as we have already discussed earlier, animals are heterotrophic organisms. They cannot synthesize their own food, so they have to move in search of it. They also have to move in search of meat, shelter and other vital activities of life. For the accurate performance of vital activities, there are various tissues for every activity. On the basis of their functions, animal tissues are of four types. Epithelial, connective, muscular and nervous. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Define animal tissue Identify types of animal tissues Find the character of epithelial tissues Understand types of epithelial tissues Understand functions of epithelial tissues Find the characters of connective tissues Understand types of connective tissues Understand functions of connective tissues Understand muscular tissues Identify types of muscular tissues Understand functions of muscular tissues Understand nervous tissues Identify types of nervous tissues Understand functions of nervous tissues Epithelial tissues Tissues which cover all the organs of body externally and also lines of hollow organs internally is known as epithelial tissue. Yes, Ankita, the cells of epithelial tissue are tightly packed and it forms a continuous sheet. There is no intercellular space and matrix between these cells. Epithelial cells are present in skin, lining of buccal cavity, alimentary canal, kidney tubules, lungs, glands. Types of epithelial tissues Epithelial tissues are classified into five types on the basis of functions of the cells and shape of the cells. Squamous epithelium Cuboidal epithelium Columnar epithelium Glandular epithelium Ciliated epithelium Squamous epithelium is made up of thin, flat, irregular shaped cells which fit together like floor tiles to form a compact tissue. It is found in lining of cavities and blood vessels and covering of tongue and skin. It is also known as pavement epithelium. In cuboidal epithelium, cells are cube-like. They appear square in section but appear hexagonal in free surface. It is found in kidney tubules, thyroid vesicles, salivary, sweat and exocrine glands. Columnar epithelium consists of cells which are pillar-like in appearance because they are taller than broader. Their nuclei are at the base. It is found in the lining of stomach small intestine, colon, gallbladder and oviducts forming mucous membrane. The columnar epithelium is sometimes modified to form glands which secrete certain chemicals and it is thus converted into glandular epithelium. It is found in the mucous membrane of stomach, sweat and oil glands. Do you know that some cuboidal or columnar cells have a free border which bear thread-like cytoplasmic outgrowths known as cilia. These cells form the ciliated epithelium. It is found in sperm ducts, trachea, bronchi, kidney tubules and oviducts. Function of epithelial tissues Squamous epithelium protects the underlying parts of the body from mechanical injury, entry of germs, chemicals and also from drying. Cuboidal epithelium helps in absorption, excretion and secretion. It also gives mechanical support. Main function of columnar epithelium is absorption and secretion. 
Main function of glandular epithelium is secretion from these glands. The rhythmic, concentrated beating of cilia of ciliated epithelium moves solid particles in one direction through ducts. Connective tissues, connective tissues bind different organs and parts of various organs together. The cells of connective tissues are living, separated from each other and very few in numbers. Gel-like intercellular substance called matrix forms the main bulk of the connective tissue. Matrix is fibrous in nature and binds other tissues. Types of connective tissues Madhuri, do you know how many types of connective tissues are there? Yes, in animals, there are mainly five types of connective tissues. Areolar connective tissue, dense regular connective tissue, adipose connective tissue, skeletal connective tissue, fluid connective tissue. Areolar connective tissue is a loose and cellular connective tissue. Matrix of areolar connective tissue contains white and yellow collagen fibers. Dense regular connective tissue has orderly and densely packed fibers and cells. Dense regular connective tissue is a main component of tendons and ligaments. Adipose connective tissue is basically an aggregation of fat cells also known as adipocytes. These fat cells are oval or round filled with a large droplet of fat. Skeletal connective tissue contains cartilage and bone which form the endoskeleton of vertebrate body. Fluid connective tissue links the different parts of body and maintains a continuity in the body. It includes blood and lymph. Activity Let us do an activity to find out the different types of blood cells. I have taken a drop of blood on a slide and now observing it under microscope. We can see red blood corpuscles or erythrocytes, white blood cells or leukocytes and platelets. Plasma forms 55% of the total volume of blood. Plasma is a complex fluid containing inorganic salts and organic compounds like albumins, globulins and fibrogens glucose, amino acids, lipids, vitamins, enzymes, hormones and waste materials like urea and uric acid. Human red blood cells are circular biconcave and denucleated and more in number. It has iron containing conjugated protein called hemoglobin due to which they are red in color. Leukocytes are amoeboid, nucleated and whitish. They are larger in size but less in number. They are of two types agranulocytes without granules and non-lobed nucleus. These are of two types monocytes and lymphocytes. Granulocytes containing cytoplasmic granules and lobed nucleus. They are of three types neutrophils acidophils and basophils. Blood platelets are minute, anucleated, fragile fragments of giant bone marrow cells called megakaryocytes. Functions of connective tissues. Areolar connective tissue is supporting and packaging tissue between organs lying in the body cavity. Repairs the tissues after an injury fights toxins and fixes skin underlying muscles. Dense regular connective tissues strengthens the joints and permits normal movement. Do you know Madhuri, sprain is caused by excessive pulling of ligaments. Adipose connective tissue stores fat, gives shape to limbs and the body, keeps the visceral organs in proper position, acts as shock absorbing cushions around kidneys and eyeballs and also acts as an insulator. Skeletal connective tissue forms endoskeleton, provides flexibility and support to the body parts, protects vital organs, 
stores calcium and phosphate. Fluid connective tissue transports nutrients, hormones and vitamins to the tissues of whole body and excretory products from the tissue of whole body to the liver and kidney. Muscular Tissues Muscular tissue consists of elongated cells also called muscle fibers. Muscle contains special proteins called contractile proteins. When these proteins contract and relax, then the movement is caused. Types of Muscular Tissues Ankita, on the basis of location, structure and function, muscle fibers are of three types. Striated muscles, smooth muscles, and cardiac muscles. Striated muscles are found in limbs, tongue, abdominal wall, pharynx and esophagus. They have alternate light and dark bands of striations. They are long, cylindrical, unbranched and multinucleated. These muscles move when we want them to move, so they are also called voluntary muscles. Smooth muscles are present in the wall of stomach, intestine, blood vessels, iris of eye, ureter. They are small sized, uninucleate, and spindle shaped and are generally arranged in layers. They are involuntary muscles as they cannot be started or stopped. Cardiac muscles are found in myocardium of heart. They are both striated and smooth muscles. Cardiac muscles are composed of branched fibers. The branches join to form a network. Each fiber is surrounded by sarcolemma and has sarcoplasm with longitudinal microfibrils and a central nucleus. The intercellular spaces are filled with abundant loose connective tissue supplied with blood capillaries. Functions of Muscular Tissues Striated muscles provide the force for locomotion and all voluntary movements of the body. Smooth muscles are involuntary muscles, that is, they do not work according to our will. Movement of food in the alimentary canal, opening and closing of tubes are due to smooth muscles. Cardiac muscles contract and relax rapidly, rhythmically, and tirelessly throughout life. This contraction and relaxation helps heart muscles to pump and distribute blood to various parts of body. Nervous Tissue A tissue which is specialized to transmit message in our body is nervous tissue. Nervous tissues contain specialized unit cells called nerve cells or neurons which have ability to receive stimuli from within or outside body and conduct that impulse to different parts of the body. This impulse travels from one neuron to another neuron. Do you know Madhuri that each neuron has three parts? Cyton, Dendron and Axon. The cyton or cell body contains a central nucleus and cytoplasm which has deeply strained particles called Nissel's granules. Dendrons are short processes arising from the cyton and further branching into dendrites. The axon is a single, long, cylindrical process of uniform diameter. Axon forms fine branches terminally. Each branch ends in a swollen structure called synaptic knob or bouton. Axon is also called nerve fiber. An individual nerve fiber is about 1 meter long. Functions of Nervous Tissues The dendrites receive impulses and the axon takes impulses away from the cell body. Impulse is the passage of electrical activity along the axon of a nerve cell. Did you know? Epithelium tissue was the first tissue to evolve in animals. Epithelial tissue is simplest tissue. 40% of body weight is formed by striated muscles. 
Hemocytoblasts in red bone marrow give rise to mature blood cells. There is about 6.8 liter blood in human body. Bone is the hardest tissue while blood is the softest tissue of body. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Animal tissues can be epithelial, connective, muscular and nervous tissue. Depending on shape and function, epithelial tissue is classified as squamous, cuboidal, columnar, ciliated and glandular. The different types of connective tissues in our body include areolar tissue, adipose tissue, bone, tendon, ligament, cartilage and blood. Striated, unstriated and cardiac are three types of muscle tissues. Nervous tissue is made of neurons that receive and conduct impulses.